Hey, welcome back to the channel. If you've been following me for any amount of time, you probably know just how obsessed I am with email marketing. It's my favorite channel for building a relationship with my audience and generating sales and making money online. So today what I want to do is reveal to you what I believe is the fastest and simplest way to start making money online with an email marketing newsletter. Now the best part about this is you don't even have to be creating 100% of your own content to make this work or to start doing this. You can actually curate content from other creators and other individuals and other businesses to grow your own audience and grow your own list and grow your own email marketing newsletter. Now, before we jump into the step-by-step, -step, the tactical stuff, how do you start making money from an email marketing newsletter? Well, there's a few different ways, right? Number one is, of course, if you're selling your own products, you can link to it in your email marketing newsletter. The second way is you can link to other people's products as an affiliate, right? So doing affiliate marketing, link into other people's products, and maybe you get a 15, 20, 30, or even up to 50% or more cut of whatever the sales are from your links and whoever buys from your link. The third way that you can make money with an email newsletter is through sponsorships, right? So if you grow your viewership, if you have enough people reading your newsletter in a certain category or a certain niche, you might have companies reaching out to you saying, hey, if you mention our company in your newsletter, we're gonna pay you X amount, right? That's a sponsorship deal. And these happen when you have more and more people on your email subscriber or your email newsletter. So those are a few of the ways to make money with an email newsletter, but you have to first start your email newsletter up, which is what we're gonna talk about today. So let's jump into my computer and dive into how to do that right now. All right, so here we are on my computer, and there's a couple things that we need before we get started. The first thing, is some kind of software to collect email addresses to categorize people into lists and to send the actual newsletter out to them. So I use ActiveCampaign to do all of that. I've been using it for about a year and a half, very happy with the software and the platform. And this is what I use to collect people's email addresses, to categorize them into lists and to send out the email newsletter to them. So that's the first thing. The second thing you need is of course people to send your email newsletter to. So this is not a video about list building, but I wanna give you a quick overview of my strategy on how I build my list. You can see there's 6,674 people on my list right now. So what I do is I post content on social media. So YouTube, Twitter, Facebook groups, I post content for free content on those platforms that gets people interested in hearing more about what I have to say. They join my list. Sometimes they download some kind of free report or a guide or some kind of freebie. They give me their email address in exchange for that. They join my list and now they get to see my emails and now they get to see my weekly newsletter, which we're gonna talk about today. Now, shameless plug, if you guys wanna join my email list, go to emailrainmaker.com, join my free Facebook group. And if you say yes to getting the report and you put your email address, you're gonna to start to get my daily emails and of course my, my weekly newsletter that I'm gonna talk about here in this video. Uh, so that, those are the two things that you need, right? Number one, again, you need a software to collect emails and to send the emails out. I use Active Campaign. Number two, you need a list of people to send emails to, right? If you don't have anyone on your list, there's no point in even doing this, this newsletter here. So now with that out of the way, let's talk about the newsletter itself. How do you actually create one? How do you structure it? How do you plan it? Let's talk about that now. So first thing is you need to have some kind of theme around your newsletter and you wanna give it a name. So I'm gonna go into my campaigns here and show you what mine is. So if I jump into here, mine is called Friday Fire. So I just, today is the 11th. I just sent out an email, uh, a newsletter. I send it out every Friday. And the theme of this Friday Fire newsletter is the best internet marketing and online business heat from the week. So all I'm doing in this newsletter is I'm making a collection of my content that they might have missed, right? YouTube videos or Twitter posts or Facebook group posts. And I'm also making a collection of curated content from other people that I enjoyed or got value from. So I'm gonna open this up for you, uh, but that's step number one, right? Pick a theme around your newsletter and also give it a name, give it an exciting name. So Friday Fire is the name and the theme is the best internet marketing and online business heat from the week. Now, the second thing is to create an outline for your email marketing newsletter. So my outline is I start with some kind of story, right? Some kind of story that ties in with the theme of the week. So the theme of this week is the importance of your environment and how it affects your performance. So I have a little story about how I was in Hawaii and how I spent two and a half weeks there and I had a hard time doing calls because I, have, I was at my parents' house and I don't have the best internet there. 
So I use that to talk about the importance of your environment. And I always start these newsletters with a short story here of something that happened during the week. So that is the piece number one is a story. The second part of this newsletter is I post uh, your compadre, that's me, that's how I sign off every email. And I have three pieces of content here that they might have missed. So uh, this is a YouTube video. This is another YouTube video. I usually post two YouTube videos a week. And if they missed it, I link to it here so they can click and it brings them directly to the video. And I also have little short blurbs here of what they can expect in this video, right, to get them excited. And then I also, uh, I, use, I usually write one Twitter thread per week, so I'll link to that as well. Uh, on this third bullet here, okay? So this is a great way for me to just re take the content that I created during the week and put it in this newsletter. So if they missed it, they can click through and catch it if they didn't already watch it or read it. So that's the first section uh, of my content. The second section here is anything that I enjoyed, content that I enjoyed from other creators and other companies, I put that right here, right? So web heat from the week. There's two videos that I have. There's a guy on uh, Twitter named Julian Shapiro. He talks about growing an audience and writing online. So I was reading a lot of his content this week. So I linked to it here, right? This is a great way. This is what I mean by you don't have to create all of your own content, 100% original content. You can link to other people's stuff here and be more of a curator, right? You're going out and you're finding good content from around the internet and you're posting it here. And I also wanna note, this doesn't have to be just about business, right? You can create a newsletter about pretty much anything in any niche. So it doesn't have to be just business, whatever it is, maybe you have a hobby or a passion that you wanna create a newsletter around, you can do this exact same framework or this outline for whatever niche that you're in. So uh, that's the, the third section actually, right? The story, I have my links for my content, and then I also have links to other people's content that I enjoyed from the week. And then what I also do is I end it with three things that I learned from the week. So I have three lessons here of ideas or insights or things that I learned uh, from my experiences during the week. So you can see my three lessons here. And at the end, I ask them a question, right? What's your biggest growth challenge? I don't reply to every email, but I do read them. And then what I do is I link to my content and some of my products here. So I say, if you wanna sign up for this, maybe, maybe you were referred by a friend, you can sign up here. This brings them to uh, seananthony.co where they can give me their email address and they can get the future issues of Friday Fire. I also link to my company, Productized Profits. I link to my free Facebook group. And then I link to a couple of my products. This is my super fast sales email challenge. That's $29. Shows you how to write emails that sell. And then I also have an ebook here on how to start an online service business. So I send this out every Friday. And this is the outline, right? So that's the next step is after you've decided on a theme and a name for your newsletter, give it an outline. What are you gonna cover in it? What's gonna be included? You can basically copy exactly what I'm doing here, right? Short story, three pieces of content that you might've created from the week, uh, two to three pieces of content that you enjoyed from other people, three things you learned, and then links to your offers, your content, and your group or community if you have that. Now the last step, and this is probably the most important thing, is to create a schedule and stick to it. Consistency is everything with this, right? If you just create one newsletter one week, if I were to just send this out one week and just forget about it the next two weeks, no one's gonna tune back in. So you need to have a schedule and stick to it. So my schedule is, I write this up every Thursday, usually in the evening, uh, so it's ready to go. And then I schedule it out for Friday at noon, noon Pacific, I'm on the West Coast. so. I, I write this newsletter on Thursday so that I'm not scrambling in the morning and I schedule it out for noon on Fridays. And that's why it's called Friday Fire. So have a schedule, create a consistent schedule and actually stick to it because if you do that over time, it becomes a habit for your readers to tune in and read your newsletters. And that's when you start to gain momentum, that's when you start to grow your viewership and that's when you start to make a lot more money from the sales of your own products or affiliates or maybe you're doing sponsorships in your emails as well if you're getting a good amount of traffic to your newsletter. So that's really all there is to creating an email marketing newsletter for yourself, or maybe you're doing this for a client. It all comes down to picking your theme and a name for your newsletter, creating an outline for what's gonna go into it, the content that's gonna go into your newsletter, and then creating a schedule and sticking to it, right? Picking a day where you're gonna create the newsletter and write it out, and picking a day where you're gonna actually send out the newsletter and sticking to it so it becomes a habit for your readers to know what to expect from you, to know when to expect that newsletter every week or however often you're sending. Now, again, if you missed it, you don't have to create 100% of your own original content. That's why I love email newsletters. You can curate other people's stuff 
and make affiliate money off of that. If you're selling someone else's product, you can sell your own products or you can get sponsorship deals as well as you start to grow your traffic on your newsletter. Now, if you enjoyed this, make sure you give it a like and let me know in the comments. Are you gonna start an email newsletter? And if so, what topics do you think you'll create it around? Or if you have ideas, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Now, next week, I'm gonna do a video around six and seven figure newsletters so that you can see what that looks like and also model your newsletters off of them if that's what you wanna do. So stick around for that. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that video next week. So that's it for this video on the fastest and simplest way to make money online with an email newsletter. If you guys enjoyed this, make sure you let me know in the comments if you wanna see more content around email marketing and email newsletters. And yeah, that's it for this. I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.